All right, we're with Andre Livingston. Andre, uh, the roster has changed here as we've gone along. Uh, what, what do you like about this roster compared to uh, the roster at the start of the year? Um, we just got some guys now that just totally bought into a coach's concept. Um, they're competing every night. Uh, they work extremely hard in practice, and they have um, they have a goal. You know, our goal is to compete for a championship. And um, our guys are taking that serious, and, and we compete pretty good right now. One of the things we talked about during the broadcast is, uh, do you have any concerns coming down to the stretch and once again the playoffs, like in terms of size, rebounding? Uh, is there some issues that you guys still think maybe you need to address to build a, a team that's built towards the playoffs? Well, one, we definitely have to uh, keep our focus for our entire game. You know, we, we tend to get up on, on teams and then kind of get lax like we feel like the game is over, and you just can't do that. The teams are too good in our league. So we have to keep our focus on for our entire game, and then we have to start hitting free throws. I think we're the, the worst free throw shooting team in the league right now. So um, there's going to be some games where it's going to be a one or two game. And, we don't need our guys to step up and hit those shots. So there are some things that we need to address moving forward. Talk about the play of local product. Uh, Gary Gallimore. Talk about Gary. He seems to really be finding a role on the team. Yeah. Well, Gary um, is, is a guy that uh, we depend on uh, defensively. Uh, he checks the best guy on the floor at the night, and uh, he's doing a great job for us. Tonight he hits some really good shots. Uh, he's, he's a little bit, uh, a lot of teams underestimate him as far as his offensive ability. Um, and as you can see tonight, you know, he hit a couple threes, and he's just tough. He's just a tough kid. So um, we, we really need to depend on what he brings to the organization. Moving forward now, so we have Avery Staley on moving on. Uh, will you go out and acquire a new player, or maybe move in another guy to kind of play that spot? Well, we're gonna, we are going to look at um, bringing in another guard. Uh, Idris is a big loss for us. He's a, a big spark player for us off the bench, as you know. And uh, he hit big shots. And, uh, so we are going to go out and probably look for a guard uh, coming in the field as well. One of the uh, kind of one of the more curious uh, drops was uh, Shigeri a guy who kind of brought a lot of energy uh, from the fans and people were kind of interested. What was the story with uh, letting go of Shigeri? Well, we just needed a, um, a little bit more toughness uh, in the paint. And, um, we got DeAndre Thomas just filling that role pretty well. Uh, he can't be moved. And he's getting better. He's getting in better shape now, getting his legs on him. So down the stretch, it's going to be a big um, acquire for us. What's the goal for DeAndre Thomas? We've got to talk about a 300-pounder. Are you guys trying to get him down to maybe 280, 270? Yeah, well, we're working pretty hard right now. We've got him a personal trainer. He has a personal chef now. He's paying all his meals. So he's lost about 15 pounds. And as you can see, he gets up and down and put a little bit better now. And, He's showing a little bit more of his athletic ability. And um, I think two or three weeks from now, you'll see a different DeAndre. Finish off with uh, the play of Eric Crookshank, kind of your signature player. Eric really seems to be, uh, he seems to lead you guys in so many different ways. Uh, talk about the play of Eric Crookshank. Well, uh, right now, he's probably playing the best basketball on our team right now. He came in this year with a new mindset. Uh, he's been really focused. Um, he's expecting his first child, so he's living his life a little bit different now. And it shows on the court. You know, he's not going out and partying and doing all those things that you know, prevent him from playing at a high level. So um, right now, he's uh, first or second in the league right now in rebounding. He had 19 rebounds tonight. So he's playing at an extremely high level. So we're really impressed with the problem that he's playing for our organization. Actually, if you can just ask one more, uh, talk about Gary Gallimore and Devin Norris. Is, will this be an initiative of the team to continue to look at local players? There's some guys coming up the AUS ranks like Joey Haywood at St. Mary's and some other Christian Upshaw ranks. Will you guys keep looking at local players as possible members of this team? Well, I mean, absolutely. That's, that's definitely important for our organization. You know, it's a developmental league, and we want to make sure that we do our part in helping to develop um, talent in Canada. And um, there are some good local players around here playing college basketball that we will always look at. So well, these are some guys that can possibly play for the Canadian national team. Uh, so um, we really want to definitely do our part in helping develop talent in Canada. He's the owner of the Halifax Redmen. Andre, thank you very much. Thank you very Outstanding. much. Great.